Hi everyone, it's Ro Khan and you're watching another movie of the week and the movie of this week was Singing in the Rain from 1952. If this is your first time watching movie of the week, what I do is I talk about a movie here, you guys comment below your thoughts, and at the end of every video I, I say the movie for next week so you can follow along. So if you haven't watched Singing in the Rain, watch it now. So actually like as a kid, I think I've like seen singing scenes of Singing in the Rain, but I never like really watched it until film class, college, and I had, I think I talked about it before, like one of my first film classes was this intro to film aesthetics and analysis class, um, which is one of the like top intro to film classes in the country. And it's like, you know, those biology or chemistry labs that like weed out like the weak ones who are not serious about pre-med. That's what this class was. It was like a lecture with like 200 students. And then by the end of the semester, it's like 150 or something. I don't even know, probably less. But yeah, so it was like Monday night, you know, it was like three and a half hours and then you had like a breakout class for like an hour or whatever like later in the week and so every week so I also had like a history of film class um my sophomore year which was like also the same thing like Monday nights and blah 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 and I was focusing more on the history but this whole class we focused more on like the aesthetics and analysis of film and so the first week was sound and so the first class we watched this movie <laughs> and I mean it makes sense because you know I never even heard of the word a asynchronous and synchronous before and so we were t you know talking I mean this movie was perfect for the week because you know we're you know talking also a little bit about the history so like the transitions from you know um silent films to talkies and that kind of stuff as I talked about <laughs> before you know movies that are about making movies they do so well like in film school you just study them and this is a perfect example and I feel like there's so many movies about film that are centered around the transition from silent films to talkies and this was definitely one of them. I feel like really with like a lot of like there's movies about making movies and then you see like the movies about like the transition from silent to talkies are more mainstream or like bigger movies because there's also that one that won like the Oscar like 21st century one I forgot what it's called that I watched um but you know, you don't see like other types of like transitions within like film history when there were others. Because even though we were transitioning to talkies, like they were still in black and white. So there, you don't see, unless there probably is a film or it's just not big enough that I know about it, where it's about the transition from black and white to color. And then you, I think the most recent one would probably be like the introduction of like like sci-fi and like what you can do with that kind of element. I don't know if I'm making sense, but like a movie about like the process of making a movie like Avatar that's like fictional, you know, something like that, but you don't see that nowadays. Anyway, I'm going on tangents. But yeah, this movie, I think everyone just loves. I feel like it's just like an easy and light movie and Gene Kelly and the other, I think his name is Gene Kelly and the other guy, like my, my professor, I remember she's like, they were the greatest dancers of their time. Like no one can compare, no one, they were like the greatest. <laughs> and Deborah Ryan like couldn't dance. That's her name, right? Am I getting com her confused with like the person from Jesse? Her name's like Debbie Ryan, right? Debbie something, Carrie Fisher's mom. What's her name? It's Debbie something. It's probably not Debbie Ryan. I'm so sorry, rest in peace. Um, but she like, she couldn't dance. And so you could, she was like, my professor was talking about it. She's like, you know, she was like, they were trying to hide it. Like, but also the crazy thing is that she couldn't sing. <laughs> and it was interesting because the whole part of the movie is she's like voicing the other actress when in reality, it's really the actress that's voicing her versus the actress. It like, it's like, wow. And it's like crazy, like, couldn't they like just actually hire someone who was good at dancing and good at singing? But why did they pick her? Like it just, uh, um, singing in the rain and singing in the, in the rain is very iconic. Um, I don't have much to say critically about this film or whatever else. I just think it's like, it's a classic movie that everyone should see. Very, very movie about making a movie, very just classic and everything. And you can tell it was like a big budget for that time. And it was a musical. So yeah, I don't have much else to say. That's it. 
just want you guys, you guys have to watch classic movies. So once in a while, there'd be like a good movie or classic movie here where it's like, I don't have much to talk about, but I'm trying to make people watch them. And you know, whatever. So don't be afraid to comment below what you think. If you disagree with all my thoughts about films, movies, about making movies, I don't know. Movie for next week though is 13 from 2003. So very different than Singing in the Rain. Uh, we always like that week by week. It's very different. Uh, but yeah, because the week before was like Tenet. <laughs> so yeah, that and Singing in the Rain are very similar. But anyway, so comment below your thoughts about Singing in the Rain and watch 13 for next week. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye.